all Americans should be very concerned that a U.S. president is attacking a woman, attacking African Americans, making slurs, saying very, very demeaning things. Everyone should be concerned because he is actually displaying his mental decline and he is not even hiding it. He's letting it all hang out. I do not believe that he is fit to actually fulfill the duties of the presidency and he shouldn't be in office. And he's displayed that by his multiple tweets. He tweeted more about me than about Charlottesville, about the loss of life there, about the display of hatred. And that's very disappointing. He could rarely complete a sentence, and he didn't read any of the legislation. He didn't take any of the time. His attention span was very, very short, and I think he's compromised. The American people should be asking the question of, what is he trying to hide? What is he so afraid of? Why is he trying to shut me down? But more importantly, why did he try to buy my silence with the campaign with that $15,000 per month hush money? Those are the questions Americans should be asking. And why is he going to this extent sicking his legal team on me if he has nothing to hide? If I did not tape that uh, exchange with Kelly in the Situation Room, first of all, no one would believe that they would take me in the basement of the White House, lock me in there for two hours, and the General Kelly say things like, things are going to get ugly for you or you might have damage to your reputation. I don't believe anyone would think that that happened. He even threatened me with a court martial. That is bizarre and it's hard to believe without those tapes to corroborate what happened in there, then people just would be continue to question my credibility. So it was important for me to protect myself. Donald Trump isn't who he said he is that he is in fact a racist, a bigot, and a misogynist. That was very painful for me to discover. Um, and I just, I want people to understand how I came to that point. He doesn't just talk about tape, he talks about being in the room with Donald Trump using that slur and saying very derogatory things about African Americans. Um, it's just unacceptable. When the Access Hollywood tape was revealed, I don't think any of us were prepared to hear him say such horrible things about women to encourage violence, sexual violence towards women. I, I don't know that we could ever imagine that we could hear him say those things, but he did. And so um, I think as things go on, the realization of who he is will come very clear for American people. We always talked about the Trump train, but it, the Trump train is off the rails. He is not capable to fulfill his duties as President of the United States, and there needs to be action.